Hey, I'm Christy Couture, and I'm a singer-songwriter based in Vancouver. But I'm also an above-knee amputee, and I have been for 22 years. When I was 11 years old, I was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma, which is a kind of bone cancer, and I underwent chemotherapy and radiotherapy for a year and a half to treat it. I went into remission, and six months later, the cancer came back. So the day after my 13th birthday, my left leg was amputated above the knee, and it saved my life. So for a number of years, I've been hearing about these microprocessor knees that were on the market, and in particular, one called the sea leg. Um, and I was hearing about what an amazing difference it would make for amputees. But because it's not covered by provincial health care and I don't have extended health, I didn't even want to try it because I didn't want to get attached to something that I couldn't afford. But last year I decided I wanted to just have the experience, just to see what it was like. And it was totally amazing. So this is the sea leg mm -hmm. and it's got a microprocessor inside of it. And we've got a, a sensor in here that will read the toe load, the heel load, the knee angle, and the knee angle rate of change. And with those four measurements, it will actually be able to tell where you are in the gait cycle and adjust the knee accordingly. Amazing. Do you feel pretty good just standing there? I'm fine. Dial you in here quick. Is that better? Although I can never give you back your knee, this is the closest that I can actually mimic the real knee. And with the microprocessor control, you'll be able to do things much more naturally than you've ever done them before. So I got to try this knee for a month. What got me hooked was the first time I got to go downstairs step over step, which sounds like a simple thing, but I've been doing stairs one at a time, up and down for the last 20 years. I can put more weight on it. I can stand more balanced. Normally when I walk, I have to look at the ground and I have to see what's coming and I have to think about how I'm gonna get around it or over it. But with the sea leg, that kind of thinking stopped because it can actually figure it out on its own. It's a genius. And people who know me also could really see how differently I was walking, and that was a great feeling. The day that I was giving the knee back to the clinic, I posted a photo to Facebook and said that I felt like I was about to turn into a pumpkin and that I'd had this really amazing month of experiences. So my friends, my family, my colleagues, other musicians, my community, Everyone chimed in on this photo, liked it and shared it and commented saying, we have to get this for you. How do we get this for you? Why don't you get to keep it? Let's crowdfund it. And it's absolutely mind blowing the work that they're doing and completely heartwarming. And I can't wait to see what happens.